Hello everyone. Before starting the video. Please, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Difference between the Ruckus R510 Zone Flex Solo, and an Unleashed Firmware. This is the next tutorial of the Ruckus R510 Access Point video series, and in this video, I will explain the differences between the two firmware versions of Ruckus Access Points. Number 1. A Zone Flex Solo Firmware and Number 2. An Unleashed Firmware If someone asks me about the difference between these two firmware then, my answer in a few simple words, would be, the ZoneFlex Solo firmware refers to individual management of each device, while Unleashed firmware provides central management for multiple devices. There are a lot of differences between these two firmware but, I will highlight a few key differences as an example, just to understand the distinction between these two firmware. By the end of this video, I hope, we will have a better understanding of the two firmware and, also be able to choose the best one that suits our requirements. To make you understand the differences, I will share my personal experience here that, why I switched my ruckus access points from ZoneFlex Solo firmware to Unleashed firmware. It is to be noted that, by default, all Ruckus R510 access points come with ZoneFlex Solo firmware installed. Without wasting any further time, let's start. We have 7 access points in our office. All the access points came with default Solo firmware installed. Each access point is mounted on a different floor. In the beginning, before upgrading the firmware of these access points, I had to access each and every access point individually, to make any changes. For example, if I had to change the IP address. Creating SSIDs. Configuring the bandwidth limit. MAC binding. Password changing etc. Then. I had to access each access point individually on my network first. And then make the required changes. Now let's suppose. If I change the IP address of one access point in two minutes. Following the same procedure for all. I mean, first access the AP's web interface via web browser. And then changing the IP address. Then it means, to change the IP addresses of 7 access points will take 14 minutes. It was very hard and time consuming, not a good idea to handle each access point individually, because our office routine requires dynamic and rapid changes for many reasons. I was totally stuck and confused about how to resolve this problem. Then I thought. I should buy a hardware controller, so that I may be able to manage, all the access points, from a single location, I mean, by accessing the controller only. A hardware controller is a device, to which, we connect all the supported devices, via switch or, sometimes directly, and then we manage all the devices from that single location. But the hardware controller was very expensive, and, I didn't want my organization to spend that much money, to buy this hardware controller. I was very upset, thinking all the time, how I could resolve this problem of controlling, all the ruckus are 510 access points centrally from a single location. I started searching on the internet, and finally, I found a solution on ruckus official website. The solution was, if I upgrade the firmware of my access points from solo to unleashed, then I could manage all the access points from a single location, or single IP address. Actually the access point with unleashed firmware works like a controller. Although it is not a hardware controller with full functionalities, still it would resolve most of our problems that we face, and we will be able to manage all the access points centrally from a single IP address. So, what did I do? I upgraded the firmware on all access points from solo to unleashed. I will now tell you that, how it worked. When I upgraded the first AP's firmware to Unleashed, this access point created an Unleashed network. Means that all the access points on the same network, 
with unleashed firmware, can join this network. After joining the network, all the access points with unleashed firmware can be managed centrally. The access points with ZoneFlex solo firmware cannot join this unleashed network because it requires an unleashed firmware, hence could not be managed centrally. The first access point on the network with unleashed firmware is called the master AP. The rest of the access points with unleashed firmware installed will join the unleashed network as a member AP. After upgrading all the AP's firmware to Unleashed, I made one of the access points as primary master, and the one access point as secondary master. I did this for high availability access to our APs. Later on, we can shuffle the primary master, and the secondary master access points as we want to. In simple words, we can say that, after choosing the primary and secondary master, we now have a cluster of two access points. All the configurations will be synchronized among the primary and the secondary master access points. If the primary master AP goes down then, the secondary master AP will replace the primary master AP, providing the services, until and unless, the primary master AP is being restored. Next, I can now manage everything from a single point. Just by accessing the primary master AP only. I only need to remember the IP address of the primary master AP. For example, if I have to change the IP address of one or all the access points, I can do it from a single point, I mean only by accessing the primary master AP. The same way, if I wanted to change the existing SSIDs for one AP and create new SSIDs for other APs, again, I would do it from a single point. If I have to manage the bandwidth, I will only access the master AP. If I want to make changes in the access control lists, I mean, the ACL, for any access points on the network. Then again, I only have to access the primary master AP. In simple words, we can do a lot with unleashed firmware. I will not go into the details of each and every service that the unleashed firmware will provide. If I do so, this video will get very long. I will share everything step by step in my next videos. I hope, now you all have the basic idea and understanding of the difference between these two firmware. I will end this video here, considering that, you all now have a better idea of what I explained in this video. In my next video, I will demonstrate that, how can we upgrade our first access points firmware from solo to unleashed on our network? That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Next video. Upgrading the firmware of first ruckus our 510 access point from Zoneflex solo to unleashed. Hey. Please. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any query, leave it in the comments section below. I will be more than happy to entertain. Thanks for watching this video.